deck the halls with blood and terror. A little late for singing Christmas carols? Well, we are still celebrating the holiday season as this is the final horror pack for the final month of 2018. Uh, horror pack, let me explain to you what this is, gentlemen and ladies. Inside every single month, this little tiny package, don't let the size fool you, packs four whopping horror titles in Blu-ray or DVD, depending on your format. This is the final month of 2018, which also so happened to be the, the season, the holiday season. So hopefully something inside here will be holiday themed. Of course, the only way to find out is we're going to go ahead and get this opened up. So I'm going to grab Old Red and let's go ahead and get this all cut open. And of course, like I usually like to do, I'll put the bag right there. You don't know what's inside. I don't know what's inside. Somebody I'm sure still knows, manages to know what's inside because they probably watched someone else's unbagging video of this. But we're going to go ahead we're going to pull out one. We're going to look at it. We're going to digest it. And then we'll go through the next title, the next title, until we finish it all. Grabbing the first one on, off the top, this is The Autopsy of Jane Doe, Special Collector's Edition, starring Emil Hirsch and Brian Cox. I feel like this movie, did this movie come to the theater? I feel like it did, and I'm sure I'm probably wrong by that. Looking on the back, I don't think it did. Father and son coroners Brian Cox and Emil Hirsch enter a world of terror while conducting a late-night autopsy on a murdered young woman. In the English-language debut of Norwegian fearmonger Andre Oravdal, I don't know how you would pronounce that. That is an O with a cross through it, a line through it. Is it Overdal? And in brackets it says Troll Hunter. Special features include brand new award-winning short film from director Andre. The Tunnel. Uh, there's also the TIFF, the Toronto International Film Festival Midnight Madness Q&A. LA premiere Q&A with Emily Hirsch, uh, Emile Hirsch, and alternate art. Well, I'm Never Sleeping Again, apparently proclaims George Takai. Of all the people to weigh in on a horror film, you've got Star Trek legend George Takai. One of the smartest, most gripping horror films in years. Uh, quotes, birth movies, dead, uh, death. And then lastly, Guillermo. <laughs> I always like saying his name. Guillermo. 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 I usually had that before pretty good, but I'm slipping on it right now. Guillermo del Toro. Somebody's laughing right now. A fun, stylish, beautifully built funhouse of horror. Release date is, you're looking at 2016. Runtime is 87 minutes. Guillermo, Guillermo del Toro. There we go. So that is the autopsy of Jane Doe. And reaching further into that, we've got Incarnate. Starring Aaron Eckhart and Carice Van Houten. Perhaps, again, another direct-to-DVD. Although this one's neat because it does have the sleeve to it. From the producers of Insidious and The Purge. Sometimes these movies, when they don't come to theaters, it's not with the intent that they didn't want to get it to the theaters, but they just couldn't get distribution for it. Aaron R. Eckhart stars as Dr. Seth Ember, an unconventional exorcist who uses science instead of religion to tap into the minds of the possessed to remove the demon from their subconscious. When an 11-year-old boy becomes possessed by a creature of unspeakable evil, Ember enters the mind of the boy to attack the vengeful demon, but he finds himself facing the battle of his life and the horrors of his past. Guillermo del Toro. Bonus feature include the making of Incarnate. I feel almost as if this did come to the theaters. Somebody help me out here. Obi-Wan or someone, please help me out. I'm, this sounds familiar, like I'd maybe seen the trailer for it. It could have very well been also a trailer on another movie that I was watching, like a direct, like a DVD or something like that I watched. Oh, what do we got here? Jack Frost. This is the Jack Frost Horror Pack Limited Edition Blu-ray. Now, I have Jack Frost, but I'm just wondering what this one has specifically on it. It doesn't have any signings to it. However, uh, it says he's got ice in his veins and he's given cold-blooded a new meaning. 
His name is Jack Frost. After five years of terror and 38 bodies in five states, serial killer Jack is on his way to execution. But a freak accident with a truckload of generic, uh, genetic material in the middle of a snowstorm mutates Jack into a killer snowman. Now an army can't... Can now, only an army can stop the sleigh ride of terror from this frosty monster with icicle fangs. Hell has just frozen over. Special features include exclusive audio commentary with Jay Bond and John Lyle of Blood, Bath, and Beyond. It also includes a theatrical trailer. It was released in 1996 and a runtime of 90 minutes. Loved Jack Frost. It also starred Shannon Elizabeth from American Pie. And uh, Jack Frost 2. Not so, not so good. No. It's not very good. And last, but certainly not least, we've got ourselves Krampus. Now, I didn't watch, honestly, Krampus this year. This is not an annual tradition. I tweeted about this, actually, if you guys are following me on Twitter. Thank you for doing that, by the way. Uh, Krampus is one of those interesting films, sort of uh, in the same vein as Trick or Treat. In fact, actually, I think it's made from this, the same creator as Trick or Treat. But in all honesty, I don't find I enjoy the movie as much as I wanted to enjoy the movie. It had such promising potential and a good concept. But I found, like, midway through the movie, it sort of drags and it doesn't pick up the pace until later after the fact. It's a great film, don't get me wrong, but it's not something I have to watch every single year. So here are the Christmas goodies that we got for the Horror Pack, which I might also add is the final Horror Pack for December 2018. We did get ourselves two Christmas movies, classics in their own right, perhaps. We also got ourselves Incarnate, I have to give that a watch. And we also got ourselves the, auto the autopsy of Jane Doe. Let me know down below what you guys think of the, the titles that we had pulled out of the bag here. And also let me know if you've seen any of these movies. Uh, is there like, have you seen Incarnate, for example? Always like to read your opinions down below of some of the movies that we end up extracting from the belly of the beast. And that is the horror pack. This was the last horror pack. Mark it on your calendars, right there. The last horror pack for 2018. As we look further beyond into the realm of now 2019, expect to have more unbaggings like this happen all year round. It's what I'd like to do. I'd like to do unboxings here on this channel of different subscription services that come to your door. Uh, make sure as well you hit that little subscribe button down below because certainly that will open the doors to all the all the thousands of videos that I've done on this channel. So if you haven't already done so, make sure you hit that little subscribe button down below and more videos will be coming your way. See you guys next time.